social justice, their rights, their protection, a section of our society that has been marginalized for a long time. I am aware that most of these cases of murder of women by men have been investigated and prosecuted. It is my hope that in due course, those found culpable will face the full force of the law. Members, it is time for each of us, political leaders, public officers, religious leaders, traditional institutions and family members to do our part in raising boys into morally upright men who will never need who will never need to affirm their masculinity at the expense of women. But, but instead, contribute to making our society just, safe, equal, and inclusive. I appreciate women leaders who have taken time to engage me and propose solutions to address this issue. I have held discussions with other leaders in government and I have tasked the Deputy President to reach out and facilitate collaborative, broad-based, and multi-sectoral deliberations and recommend effective and radically transformative and affirmative action within the next six months. This parliament, this parliament will recall that early in my tenure, I engaged the leadership of both houses with recommendations on a working formula to actualize meaningful inclusion of women in national leadership. We must seriously question the drivers and the motives of resistance and reluctance to take the next step in actualizing the two-third gender rule. We must call out those who continue to sabotage these rights of women to contribute to the government of our to the governance of our nation. <laughs> Women are not second class citizens. They deserve equal representation at all levels. Honor <laughs> Honorable members. Without a doubt, hon <laughs> honorable members. Without a doubt, every shilling of our national revenue matters.